So we're back for another season of After the 90 Days. Can you tease a bit for our viewers what we're going to see unfold for the rest of the season? For the rest of the season, uh, more drama, unfortunately, but more drama. It's only just beginning. Tension, yeah. I mean, it is what it is, it's life. Yeah. We saw in the most recent episode, Lauren, that your parents aren't the biggest fans of your potential move to Israel. How has it been for you as a family dealing with so many opinions about where you want to live? I've been learning to set boundaries my, for myself because I'm the kind of person I get swayed very easily. So I'm learning to not let it get to my head. And ultimately, this is my family. And that's what matters. Totally. And I know you probably can't reveal if you're going to ultimately move to Israel, but can you tell us about why you think it could potentially be a good move for your family? So when Alex and I make decisions, like we make decisions together, it's not one or the other, um, unless I'm buying like a, a bag or something that we don't agree on. But we just feel that it is a very good upbringing for children. It definitely builds character for them and instills a different mentality as you get older. So we feel that it's a good idea. Do you think your little ones would love it there? And how does it feel getting to see your children in Israel? I'm sure that's really special for you as a family. Yeah, I think I think Israel could be so great for them. It will give them so many other, you know, options like language, culture. They'll be just more advanced people so to say they'll have cultured, cultured cultured. more they'll have they'll have more in their you know what I mean and uh, on their resume on their resume <laughs> so to speak yeah you can call it that um yeah seeing them in Israel is great I loved being in those places where I grew up and where I love to go and to see my kids there was you know very special congrats I know that you're parents to a new little baby how does it feel to be parents of three now Oof. <laughs> yeah, um, I mean, it's beautiful for three, but like three mm -hmm. under three, it's wild. It's pretty tough. Yes. If we, you know, I'm not going back on the fact that I want a large family and a lot of kids. It's just that they happen so fast and so, so much. Unexpected. It's just a lot. Three under three is not easy. Maybe pause for a couple years till they get a little bit older, you know, before expanding. Or forever. <laughs> or forever. Most definitely, most definitely pause. Not, not, not forever. <laughs> and how have your sons adapted to being big brothers to Ariel? Do they love it? Oh my gosh, Shy. I mean, because Shy is Asher's big brother. So Ari, Ari, Ari. Asher is adapting, you know, he sees yeah. Shy giving her a keppy kiss, like a kiss on the head. So he comes on over and he's learning how to give kisses right now. Um, no, Asher thinks he's a, she's a toy. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know if you're familiar with those TikToks about the second born, but there's a lot of them. And they say like the second born is not not about the. <laughs> that's how Asher it's is. true. <laughs> he doesn't care. He's just like running wild. <laughs> Shai is very like she, he's trying to help and he's giving her the pacifier and he's if she's crying he comes mama are you crying are you crying like he's trying to, and Asher is just <laughs> looks at you running around whacking everything and just <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh that's so cute um and has Ariel reached any new milestones recently Mm, she's sleeping a little better. I can call it a milestone. Yeah, that's definitely a milestone. She's sleeping longer, yeah, but no, 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 nothing significant yet. She's small. Yeah. What are the biggest changes do you think that are from going from uh, parents of two to parents of three? Was it a bigger adjustment than going from one to two? I think uh, so. Here's the I thing, so. right? I did a poll. Forget about it. No, but what listen. I, but that's the thing, like. I don't know. I don't know if what was harder going from zero to one, one to two or two to three, it's all hard, but there are people who are like going from two to three is a piece of cake. Yeah, like, I, I don't know. I think it's all mm -hmm. hard. It's all an adjustment. I think the third one is very difficult. I think because think... they're also young also. Definitely. And also because you're outnumbered. If all three are there, 
and all three need something, then you can't handle everybody at the same time. And then if you don't handle them fast, then it's becoming a, you know. That spiral, spiral. effect when yeah. one cries and the other one cries. And, oh my. I think it's just literally outnumbered. It's very hard to load in the car. There's too many seats and too many <laughs> combinations. And it's like chess. You have to move this piece first so you can get to that piece like that. Well, I give you major props, both of you. I feel like I can't even imagine having one child, let alone three, and you both seem to handle it so well. So I give you props there. I was also going to ask, are there any major differences between being mom to a little girl um, as opposed to, I know you had two, you have two sons. Um, with, are there any big differences? It's a completely different love. Like I can't explain it. Obviously my boys are my boys. But my little girl, like she's gonna be a little me. I feel very bad for Alex already. But it it is, it's a totally different kind of love. Oh my gosh. And, and I what about you? As, how does it feel as a dad? I don't know. For, for now, you can say it. Of course I can say it. You can say it. <laughs> I, I for me right now, I don't I don't know. I don't see a difference. Honestly, for me, it's kind of the same right now, but she's very tiny, she's a baby, so. I think it's going to change with time. But for now, I was nervous. How is it going to be with a girl? How is it going to like be, you know, be different? But it's not. For now, it's not. And I saw that fans, when you guys shared about uh, welcoming little Ariel, fans really shared you a ton of support on social media. And obviously, you're like one of the fan favorite couples. How does it feel getting that like support and love from the 90 Day family? so great right? it is it's still so surreal we're very very lucky to have everybody and their support and follow us on this journey yes the, the followers and the you know just people who they know us at this <laughs> point our whole you know adult <laughs> life we're there so it's like uh, yeah they're they're part of the family they always you know congratulate and support and and the ones that really follow us they they're already saying all of like their instagram aunties can't wait to see them go to school and high school and college and i'm like whoa we have back whole, on your pedals we have we have a few years there uh so if you could each last question if you could each sum up the rest of the season of after the 90 days in three words what would they be mm. emotional very emotional intense is that the same as emotional I feel like they're different emotional intense I don't know think of a word what you need three and then I I'm, I'm not gonna use my words on you. emotional <laughs> intense and real oh real it is it's very real people think that it's scripted this is no joke it's yeah. not there is no scripts for nothing. I, I would say it's uh, like ups and downs. That's two words. That's three words. It's one down. Up, up, it's one <laughs> word. Ups up, and downs. Ups and downs. <laughs> a lot of, for me, supporting and negotiating. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and that's it. And real. I wanted to use real, but she stole it. 